Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video, we're going to be answering a question that's been driving internet insane for the past two days. And the question is, what color is this dress? Specifically, why is this dress perceived differently by different people? So approximately 75% of people, and that actually includes me, 75% of people see this dress as sort of gold-ish, yellow-ish right here. So the stripes are actually golden. And then uh, the other part of the dress, specifically this part right here, this leaf, uh, is seen as white. So this is actually, to some people, this is white. And the stripes are golden. And so 75% of us saw it as this at first. Now, here's what happened to those 75% of us afterwards. In a few minutes or even seconds, we've actually changed the perception and saw um, the real colors of the, of the dress, uh, which was what the other 25% of people saw in the beginning. So we started seeing this as actually blue here and black stripes. And so the original color of the dress, if you ever tried to find this on, on the internet, and actually this is probably the most sold dress right now on the internet. But yeah, the original colors are blue and black. I'll actually show it to you in a second. Let's take a look at this in Photoshop. So the original colors kind of look like this. If I were to auto tone this, give it some contrast and decrease its brightness, if you're still seeing this as gold and white, you should be able to see this as more blue and black right about now. So right about now, you should see the original color, which is actually blue and black. Now, why is it that certain people saw this very differently from other people? And basically, the majority of people saw this as gold and white in the beginning. So let's actually try to analyze this scientifically and use psychology and neuroscience to try to see what's happening here. Before I start, though, this part right here, as, as you'll see, this part right here is oversaturated. This is really, 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 really bright. And so is this a little bit. And so because of this, our brain starts perceiving this picture or this image in a very different fashion. And I'll show you what I mean by this in a second. And let's actually take a look at this contrast illusion just to kind of get, give you an idea of what's happening or at least one of the phenomena that are happening in this uh, dress picture. So here we have A and B and if you just look at it like this, because there's an object here and there's a shadow that the object casts on this little part right here, uh, your brain automatically uses its experience and its previous knowledge to try to estimate what this color might be and it thinks that this color is kind of like light uh, grayish. Whereas A is seen as being set in the light, and so it's seen as dark grayish. Now, if I were to tell you that these two colors are actually the same, you would probably think I'm lying to you. And this is how I'll prove it to you. So I'm gonna, I just actually cut this part out. I'm going to slowly move it next to A. And you'll see that it's exactly the same color. And so if I move it back here, it's back to its original white gray. This is not, I'm not trying to cheat you here. This is actually, this is how it works. So your brain is, is interpreting this differently. And similarly, when you're looking at this dress, uh, some of us, because of the previous experience, previous knowledge, we saw this as really, really, really bright. So we started seeing these other colors that were not blue and black. And what we saw is actually what's actually already there. And what I mean by this is that it is actually right now, this picture is projecting quite a lot of yellow, quite a lot of red um, to your retina, to your eyes, but you just don't see it because your brain is automatically ignoring it. I'm going to prove it to you by doing this. Um, there is actually a lot of yellow and red, basically gold colors that are being projected from this black stripe right here. And we'll do this by changing the amount of reds and yellows you see. So this is changing the, um, basically changing the levels of reds and yellows. And look at that. So you can see that there's a lot of reds and yellows coming from these uh, dark parts. And this is why so many of us saw them, that we actually saw these colors and we interpreted this uh, slightly differently. Now, because of the red and yellow projection here, and because of the way that, um, because of the way that this uh, illusion works as well, we automatically started perceiving this part, the blue part as white because of the contrast, because of the shadows. So basically, this is why this was white to us and this right here was red and yellow, or in other words, gold. Now, why is it that those of us who saw it as white and yellow or gold uh, do not see it uh, as that consistently? Why is it that after a few minutes or even seconds, the colors change to black and blue? And there's another illusion that explains this really well, another, another kind of a uh, psychological concept. And specifically, I'm talking about the idea of inverse colors. So here, if I were to inverse colors on this, in other words, if I were to go into Photoshop and essentially 
inverse these colors, you'd see that it's sort of gold and white. The inverse colors are actually gold and white. So this is what a lot of us saw in the beginning and then slowly uh, uh, the colors that we saw transformed into this, the blue and black. Um, and the phenomenon that this refers to is known as as an after image. And I'm going to show you an example. This is actually the best example to kind of demonstrate this. So this right here is the inverse of something. So if you keep staring at this little dot uh, for a few seconds, just, you know, stare at the dot and don't move your eyes away and keep looking as I'm trying to explain this to you. So right now your, your eyes are being saturated with the inverse of these colors. And as you basically saturate your eyes with the inverse, what happens is um, if I were to change this image, in other words, when we were looking at when we were looking at uh, the inverse of the dress, we saturated our eyes in such a way that when we look back at it, we saw this, we saw the inverse. So now you should see a colored castle yeah, and colored in inverse of what you just saw. But here's the thing. If you move away your eyes for a second and you look back at this picture, you'll notice that it's actually black and white. It has no color whatsoever. So your eyes were just projecting an after image, inverse after image, uh, on this black and white picture, making it look like it, it has color. In a similar fashion, when you will look, when some of us were looking at the dress, we uh, saturate, we basically saturated our eyes with inverse color, and then when we look back at it, we saw the inverse, which was really the original color, which was blue and black. In other words, as we were looking at this picture, those 75% of us were seeing the uh, the uh, inverse picture, and we were seeing the inverse image. Uh, and this saturated our eyes to the point where as we were kept looking at it and as we moved our faces or our eyes away from the picture and then looked at it again, it slowly, step by step, transformed and converted or uh, changed into the blue and black picture that we now all see. And the interesting thing is that it's really hard to unsee it now. It's almost impossible to not see blue and black once you actually see it. In other words, our brains are now convinced that this is actually blue and black because of the experience, because of the information we've received. And so this is what psychologists actually call top-down perception. In other words, your brain influences what you see. So even though there is quite a lot of yellows and reds here, and I, you can actually look at this part right here, uh, this color. As I keep clicking on different parts of this dress, you'll see that there's actually quite a lot of colors. There's a lot of reds, there's a lot of... Uh, more like dark reds, I guess, dark reds and dark yellows. And even this part is not entirely just blue. It's actually, it consists of many different colors. So like right here, there's almost a white, like blue color. And this is actually almost completely white. So there's quite a lot of different colors inside that we perceive, but our brains just ignore them and convert them to what um, we want to see, or in a sense, uh, what our brains are telling us to see. And the last interesting effect, uh, psychological effect that might be actually influencing our perception of this is called the Macaulay effect. I'm going to explain it in a second, but it actually relates to this part right here, the stripes. It relates to the stripes that are in this dress. So this actually is probably one of the other reasons why we see this the way we do. And what Macaulay effect refers to is this. So if you keep looking at these, uh, these bars, these stripes, um, and just kind of look at them for a few seconds. And now I'm going to remove them and show you some other stripes. So now uh, start looking at the green one for a few seconds, moving your eyes around. And then look at the red one for a few seconds, move your eyes, move your eyes around. And do this a few times. Actually, I would even suggest pausing this video and just doing this for a few minutes. And what you what will happen to you is because of these stripes and colors, you're going to start um, saturating your eyes with inverse colors. Uh, or basically you'll see the red, but your eyes will be saturated with the inverse. So if you do this for a few minutes, and then if I switch back to the original stripes, you'll start seeing the inverse inside of these stripes. So the vertical stripes will become the inverse of the red stripes. So this is a, this would be like something like green-ish, whereas the green stripes will turn into inverse and they'll be more like pinkish. Now, interestingly, if you do this for a few minutes, this effect can stay with you for many, 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 many months. Uh, it actually is not an effect that's easy to get rid of. And this is actually probably the reason why it's so hard for us to unsee the, the effects on the dress now. So once you see the blue and black, it's really difficult to see the gold and, and white again because the McCullough effect due to stripes is really preventing us from, from seeing this again, from basically from unseeing the blue and black. Now this effect does disappear in time and actually it would be very interesting to look at this picture again. I'm, I'm talking about 
I'm talking about this picture, of course, of looking at this picture again in a few months and just uh, seeing if you actually see it as gold and white again, because there's a very big chance that uh, it may actually happen. You may actually see the white and gold again, because your brain will have forgotten by then that um, that uh, the stripes and the uh, inverse colors were actually in influencing your vision. And so it, by then, in a few months, you may actually see the um, gold and white again. And so let's just summarize some of these ideas. So the first idea here was that due to the environmental effects, environmental um, cues that we have from this picture, specifically, I'm talking about this part right here and this part right here, our brains uh, decide to perceive this differently depending on who you are and what previous experiences you have. So there is quite a lot of environmental cues that told our brains how to perceive this. And specifically, I'm talking about this illusion right here. So here we know that, or we, we perceive this as a shadow. So this must be lighter than this, but in, in reality, it's actually the same color. So similarly here, the dress was actually perceived differently depending on the environmental cues and also probably depending on where you actually saw the picture. If it was a much lighter, lighter environment, you may have seen this differently than in a dark environment. And the second idea here is the idea of after image, although it does have a more specific name in psychology, it's actually not just the after image. And this is actually what I'm talking about, talking about the castle picture where you saw the inverse, so it became um, colored, but it's actually a black and white picture. Now this after image has a name and it's actually known as opponent process theory of psychology, opponent process theory of psychology, which is basically a very complicated theory. In a nutshell, what it says is that our eyes don't perceive colors just by themselves. We don't perceive just green or just red. What we do perceive is we perceive a kind of a, almost like a gradient where our eyes see a certain part of this gradient and they, all of these colors come in pairs of inverses. So red and green comes together, yellow and blue and so on. So we basically perceive these gradients that cause our eyes to decide what color we're perceiving. So in other words, it's a very, very complex idea of uh, how after image works and why we see we perceive these after images. In other words, so if you saturate your eye with a lot of green, when you look in, at the black and white picture, you suddenly see the opposite, which is going to be red. But unfortunately, this video is not long enough for me to explain all, all of this to you. It's a very complex theory and it's worth reading into it because it's the, it's really how we perceive the reality. And the third uh, phenomenon here is really not the phenomenon. It's just the fact that this is a really, really bad picture. And so we have a lot of, a lot of colors on the inside. There is actually quite a lot of yellows and reds um, that are being uh, projected to us right now, especially from over here. There's a lot of reds and yellows, reds and yellows, reds and yellows. So this is really why we even saw those colors. And lastly, number four was the McCullough effect. And that's, I'm probably going to misspell it. And he's probably going to find me and sue me for that. But basically, this is the effect that uh, refers to the idea of, you know, having stripes here. So we do have stripes in this dress. And if you saturate your eyes with a, uh, a striped image, specifically, we're all taking a look at the image that had black and red stripes and green and uh, black stripes in this fashion. And then you were to look at a completely empty image of blacks and whites, you would see the inverse. So once again, you would see the inverse image. But the interesting thing about this is that McCullough effect is a very long lasting effect, long lasting effect. In other words, it would be very difficult for us to unsee this. You it will take you a while, maybe even months to unsee this and to see the gold and white again. And really, this is uh, some of the theories that are uh, responsible for what we see here, but that's probably not not all of them. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably some kind of a phenomenon in there that we've never even discovered, which would be a really cool project to do one day or for someone to do their um, uh, doctorate on, because this is a pretty awesome effect that I don't think we've ever seen before. And this is really why the internet exploded with this, because we all saw different colors. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out some of the other math and science videos I've done in the past. Thank you for watching and game you later, alligators. Bye-bye.